UNICEF, the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. Fluoride in water, an overview. In many countries, fluoride is purposely added to the water supply, toothpaste, and sometimes other products to promote dental health. It should be noted that fluoride is also found in some foodstuffs and in the air, mostly from production of phosphate fertilizers or the burning of fluoride-containing fuels, so that the amount of fluoride people actually ingest may be higher than assumed. It has long been known that excessive fluoride intake carries serious toxic effects, but scientists are now debating whether fluoride confers any benefit at all. Fluoride was first used to fight dental cavities in the 1940s. Its effectiveness depended on two grounds. 1. Fluoride inhibits enzymes that breed acid-producing oral bacteria, whose acid eats away tooth enamel. This observation is valid, but some scientists now believe that the harmful impact of fluoride on other useful enzymes far outweighs the beneficial effect on caries prevention. 2. Fluoride ions bind with calcium ions, strengthening tooth enamel as it forms in children. Many researchers now consider this more of an assumption than fact because of conflicting evidence from studies in India and several other countries over the past 10 to 15 years. Nevertheless, agreement is universal that excessive fluoride intake leads to loss of calcium from the tooth matrix, aggravating cavity formation throughout life rather than remedying it, and so causing dental fluorosis. Severe, chronic, and cumulative overexposure can cause the incurable crippling of skeletal fluorosis. Dental fluorosis, which is characterized by discolored, blackened, mottled, or chalky white teeth, is a clear indication of overexposure to fluoride during childhood when the teeth were developing. These effects are not apparent if the teeth were already fully grown prior to the fluoride overexposure. Therefore, the fact that an adult may show no signs of dental fluorosis does not necessarily mean that his or her fluoride intake is within the safety limit.